guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys different ways that you can use vinegar throughout your home. I honestly, I swear by vinegar. Vinegar is in like my everyday routine. I use it for something. It doesn't matter what, I know I'm using it for something. So I've been getting a lot of questions from people over the last few months about like what kind of stuff I use to clean my house because I'm always cleaning. And I pretty much tell everyone my vinegar spray and I've talked about my vinegar spray in so many of my videos before. It's literally in every cleaning video I've ever put up on my channel. And as you know, I've been doing motivational Mondays where I post a cleaning related or cleaning inspiration or organizing type of video for you guys every Monday. And it just kind of gives you that little extra something to get you motivated to get stuff done. But anyways, all that to say, vinegar spray I talk about it like nobody's business and I'm talking about it again in this video so in today's video I'll be sharing with you guys different ways to use vinegar throughout your home so one way I like to use it is by creating a sort of all-purpose spray I literally use a spray on windows I use it on mirrors I use it on surfaces I use it to help me dust to kind of like you know trap the dust so it doesn't just fly up as soon as you get to it uh, I use it for sanitizing things um, and I also use it for like my counters and like everywhere in the kitchen. The only place in my house I do not use my vinegar spray is in the washrooms and just because I feel like you need a little something more than just vinegar for those kind of places but everywhere else in my home it's the number one thing that I use. Sometimes I might use glass cleaner but I really don't need to use glass cleaner if I use my vinegar spray. And if you guys are wondering how I make my vinegar spray, I pretty much just fill up an empty spray bottle, maybe halfway with vinegar and the other half or 75%, I'll just do water. And I like to add in a couple of drops of essential oil just because the vinegar smell can be a little bit too much for me, even though I love it. So sometimes I'll do like a lemongrass scent or a citrusy scent or in the video as you guys are going to see or have seen already, I use um, lavender and that smells really good too. Whatever smell you like, you can just put it in there to mask it a little bit um, because yeah, the vinegar smell can get a little bit too much. <laughs> The other thing that I use vinegar for is to wash my produce uh, and also my meats and stuff like that. So whenever I buy like grapes or apples or whatever, it's always so like hard to get like a good clean. I mean, the most that we can really do is like rinse it underwater and hope that like it washes off like whatever gunk is on it. But there's also chemicals that um, are put on top of these things and just rinsing it isn't really going to get it out. So what I like to do is I like to soak my fresh produce and some of my meats I like to soak it in some water with like maybe one or two tablespoons of vinegar in a bowl and I just soak it in there for a couple minutes like wish it around if it's like my fruits as you guys are gonna see or have seen already and I just kind of like let that do like my first wash so I just soak it and for maybe like two minutes and that'll be like my first wash and I pour that out and then I just rinse it with like fresh water to make sure all the vinegar stuff is out of it um, and also to just really get the gunk out. I remember the first time I did this, the water from my grapes was clear and then it was like brown with like a whole bunch of residue at the bottom. That was like absolutely disgusting and it completely like opened my mind. I just didn't realize I was doing it wrong for so long. Um, I know for sure like our stuff is a lot better now than it was before and even like bananas. I heard that if you bring bananas into your home and you don't give them a rinse or a wash, what happens is like there's fruit fly eggs at like the top of the banana like where you would break it apart and that's how fruit flies are getting into our home. Like we buy it with the egg already on there and if you don't rinse your bananas and stuff like that, it'll just like hatch in your house. Like they're hatching in your house. So um, that's another thing that I just like soak into there um, and then you can also for like your meat, I like to clean my meat. I know not everyone is on board for cleaning their meat. So like if I have like, I don't know if I bought like chicken wings or like chicken drumsticks or whatever, I would just get a bowl of water. I would get like maybe two tablespoons of vinegar in the water and I'd just soak it in there for a couple minutes and then take it out. I feel like it really gets that bacteria that you can't just like get off from patting it dry or... I don't know how other people clean their meat, but like I like to do a vinegar um, mixture. It really just gives me the peace of mind that it's getting all the stuff out that I can't see. And then I don't have any footage of this to show you guys, but I did want to tell you I also use vinegar for like deep cleaning um, my laundry machine. So like the washer, uh, if you 
put like maybe one cup or two cups of vinegar in where you put like your um in by the part where you put your uh dish detergent like your, i don't know whatever it's called you pour it in there and then you actually pour like one whole like box of baking soda into the washing machine itself so what happens is when the vinegar and the baking soda get together like through the washing process it actually causes the all the buildup and like moldy like yucky stuff that lives inside your washer and dryer um, but just like your washer uh, it helps get all that stuff out and it's just kind of like a nice gentle way to like wash out your washing machine which you should be doing because it's disgusting okay like absolutely disgusting but that is like a completely natural way to do it and it works really well maybe I'll film a video showing you guys this one day let me know if you'd like to see that and while we're on the topic of like laundry and like our washing machine and stuff towels you guys towels and washcloths oh my god they're so disgusting they have so much buildup and just a whole bunch of like nastiness that naturally lives in it um, and you guys really need to work on cleaning your towels and your washcloths even more. But what I like to do every now and then, which I really should do this like all the time, but every now and then, I'm being honest with you, I wash my towels together, but I give them like a disinfecting wash. So what I do instead of using um, like washing soap, I forget, I can't, I don't know why, I can't think of detergent. Instead of using detergent to wash your towels, just pour in like maybe one cup of vinegar and sprinkle again in some baking soda and just wash it like that on its own because sometimes what happens is when during the wash cycle, the detergent doesn't completely lift from the fabric. So as you know, when things like build up, it just creates like a whole bunch of like bacteria and bad stuff. Plus we use our towels all the time, all over our bodies and things like that. So there's just a lot that gets trapped in the fabric that if you do this vinegar wash with baking soda every now and then, it literally just like lifts it out. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that like your towels will smell like mildew like even though it's like just come out of the washer or something like that a lot of that smell is related to like the detergent being stuck in the fabric and not actually like lifting all the way out so this is just good for upkeep and just good for killing the extra bacteria that you don't want in your house you can also use vinegar for cooking too you guys like obviously <laughs> You can use it for cooking because that's really like what most people know of vinegar for but yeah you can use it for cooking you can use it for cleaning your food cleaning your house cleaning your you know laundry and like everything like that it's just such an amazing product so yes now we've come to the end of the video those are pretty much the ways that I use vinegar I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I had a lot of fun talking for over 10 minutes about vinegar so if you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up so I can know. If you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do so. You just hit that red subscribe button and you can comment down below to let me know if you enjoyed watching this video or which videos you'd like to see because I'm always open for suggestions. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it You could be Don't love, they're like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my lips
in the second.